All right, well, he's been there before, but he hasn't done that. This lightweight contender worked exceedingly hard to get back to a championship setting, and this may be his last title shot if he doesn't get the win tonight. Yeah, you, you can't not get there twice. When you're there, you gotta win, or you don't get the opportunity again. This guy put his head down and went right back to work from the moment he heard and still. He said that at some point, we would put the belt around his waist. He would put in the work. He would prepare. He's back here now, John. And he intends to be the champion. And when you suffer a setback, there are two ways to go. And this man went on the right trajectory. Really good to see him get back here. And now we find out that he's got the goods to be a champion. So Islam Makashev getting back on the proven ground here tonight, putting his undisputed UFC lightweight championship on the line. So much to love about this man's mixed martial arts acumen, his fight IQ, and you got to think it's going to take the very best out of his opponent to rest the belt away tonight. Anyone, anyone that hopes to beat Makhachev has to be on their game. Your wrestling's got to be on point. Your striking's got to be on point. But more than anything, you have to have a steel mind you cannot break in front of Mahacha because he will then drown you. This guy is a champion for a reason. And as you have seen time and time again, Hasbula ha. joins the Dagestanis in the octagon. Perhaps that's an X factor tonight. The great Hasbula in the corner of Islam Makhachev. Islam Makhachev ready to engage in another high profile matchup here tonight. Our tail of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> of the world. It was a match. Fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Martin. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Bogachev. All right, Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. Good. All right, round getting underway, and we take a look at the Combat Sambo World Champion and UFC lightweight contender, Islam Akashev. What will he do in this fight? Well, oftentimes he does whatever he wants to do. Certainly he can impose his will on the ground where his game is just so nuanced when it comes to the throws and the trips and the manipulation of joints and everything else. But on the feet, nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you got it. All right, setting up the arm bar here. Beautiful setup on that arm bar. What a tight arm bar. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. There it is. Now he's running him out. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Islam Akashev getting worked here from the top. Ground and pound strikes raining down. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Hand bike, hand bike. He's having his way with him here. Great job landing from the top position. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. And now he's got the back. All 
All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somehow. he loves it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back, you need to be up on an elbow, right. you need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submission. Oh, good ground and pound here. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Finding his shots from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Man, look how flexible those legs are. He's got them in rubber guard. I don't think I could do that if I try. I mean, John, don't sell yourself short. You just might be able to do it. But if you do, John, you're doing it with the idea that you're slowing everything down as a defensive fighter. There are submissions, right? There are submissions, but they're very rare submissions that we don't see you very often in the UFC. Makashev going to work some guard here. Nice combination of strikes there. Very efficient, very effective. He passes to half guard. Makashev's looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. And there you go, again, half guard. Makashev's back in full mount. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Nice transition. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Look at that, going into the arm bar. Arms in deep. No, oh, he's out. The fight's going to continue. Oh, my goodness. I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Lands the ground and pound strike. Inside control. You got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his uh, full guard. Uh, what does he do to try to advance himself? to give him more Stop. of an advantage on the mat. All right, take a seat from bud. Deep breath, breathe. You good? All right, awesome round, man. You won that round totally. You scored all those takedowns with beautiful. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my tune. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, let's get to round two. All right, folks, here we go with our next round. And in terms of his output and his efficiency with his significant strikes in the previous round, you can argue that was the best five-minute stretch of his UFC career. Oh, absolutely the best five minutes he has ever had. He was in his own. Everything he threw was just... Oh, guillotine, guillotine here. Oh, nice guillotine there. Great job maintaining position over submission. Very smart. Great fight IQ. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. I need you to scramble. Scramble. Great submission defense on this play tonight. 
Makashev's in half guard. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. He's in the mount. Oh. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. In position for a submission attempt here. He's got it isolated. Okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, he's out. Oh, right into Mount. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Lands with the ground and pound. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Might be a submission attempt here, Shane. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Makashev's right back to the full mount. Start throwing it down. Using a lot of good movement. Good work from the top here by Islam Makashi. He needs to better move. Yeah, he's got to move, John. He's got to shrift and try to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Makashev has got full mount now. That mount now. He has controlled the position, postured up, and landed another strike that is causing swell. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Nice job by him there. He was being dominated and is able to reverse position. Getting the ball here. That was a slick transition. Under a minute now to go in this one. All right, has the guard closed here? He passed the half guard. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds, because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work, make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Seconds winding down in round two. Ooh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. So there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep you submission. Ready ready. Good. Round three of a possible five. Nice execution on the team. Oh, blocked the shot there and then delivers the straight counter. Level change there, goes for the takedown. 
Makashev's in half court. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging and really just make you feel more in danger than you really are. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Nicely done. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Great ground and pound by this man. Oh, he's got to be careful there. Yep. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Islam Makashe. Going to try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he... Nice transition. He's got a flat on his back. In the half guard. Now he's going full mount. Nice. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. All right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Oh, good defense, yes. <laughs> Makashev's in half guard now. Side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Lands with the ground and pound here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Makashev's back in side control. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Islam Makashev. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds.
All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix them up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normal. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go the next 10 minutes. Oh, how good was his timing to get the takedown there? Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Trying to recover full guard there. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Nice combination by Jim. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He has... Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is tight. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, feet on the hips here. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Three minutes to go. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get up on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off of his back. Elbow. Elbow. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jujitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Makashev's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. He's got to be careful here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Makashev's back in full mount. That was nice. Great shot from the top position. Yep, got to be very careful there. Oh, right into Mount. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. He's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Fighters inverted now. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover to share him. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Oh, 
submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outcome of the show in that defense. Nice positional control here. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. Huh. He's just trying to move out of this position oh, off the bottom. Stop, stop, Buzzer sounds stop. for the end of round four. All right, three, relax, good. I want exactly what you did in that last round. I want you to do that again, okay? I think we're up on the scorecard. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. All right, next round is underway here, and clearly these guys put in the right work during training camp when it comes to the car. You can tell that cardio and conditioning was the focus of both of these gentlemen as they prepare for this fight. Starting to do some really significant... Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted, he's been beaten. Kashev ground and pound from Apple. Pretty good work with the strike there from bottom position. Makashev's right back to the full mount here. Ground and pound strike there now. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Now he's got good body position, yup. Chef's able to transition back to side control now. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost part in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pitting bad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Islam Akasha. Another ground and pound strike lands. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Side control now. Makashev's back in full. Man. He's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum, try to go to half guard. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's gotta be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. This is a terrible position. Oh, the ground and pound is there. DC or 
so it appears this is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling started to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt. He got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Fighter trying to pass here. Uba gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Oh, nice. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Time winding down, final seconds of the fight. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision... And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makhachev. Well, it is as hard a title to hold down as there is in the UFC, but mission accomplished for the champion here tonight. Congratulations, he is still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. You know the challengers are gonna keep on coming, but this man is still the hunted, at least right now, at 155 pounds.